All right, welcome back to the channel. I am Demarius Jackson with Jazz Improv Basics, and today we're gonna be going over some saxophone things. If you didn't know, well, you probably already do. I'm a saxophone player. I've been playing for a long time. I play clarinet, flute, and oboe, and a couple of other instruments as well. Uh, but saxophone has been my long time favorite, so we're gonna nerd out on that for a while. Specifically, we're going to be talking about playing the saxophone through uh, guitar pedals. Now, it's something that I never heard of. Well, I've heard of before. I never even got into that world. I, I don't really play guitar like that. I've seen, uh, you know, woodwind instruments, even brass instruments, you know, hook their instruments up through microphones and pedals and play some pretty cool sounding stuff, but it never really sparked my interest until I saw a clip by a saxophonist named Patrick Barley. I'll leave a clip down in the description. I'm going to try to edit it and we're going to play it right now. Yeah, so after I saw that clip, I was very inspired to go out and see what I could do with playing with some saxophone, uh, well, playing with uh, guitar pedals on saxophone. So I honestly had no clue what I'm doing. Uh, I got a couple of things. I already had a couple of these items. I'll show you what they are, and uh, we'll just go through it. A lot of you probably know way more than me, but if you don't, I guess this can be a learning experience for us both. So the first thing I had was this PreSonus, uh, I guess, preamp called a Fire Studio Mobile. I bought this years ago with the intent of trying to run some things through GarageBand, which I never really quite got. Uh, I got a little bit, but then I veered off and it's literally been collecting dust. Uh, but this basically, uh, I plug my microphone. I had a sex mic and I've used this for various other things. This is uh, by Audio Technica. I'll leave uh, this little things down in the description. You can go check these things out. I got this years ago just because I played out with a kind of a cover band, a top 40 band. And I got tired of uh, trying to use their mic because I do this motion when I play and it got very, very annoying. So I bought this and obviously with the XLR, I connected it into my pre Sonus Fire Studio Mobile. And yeah, I'll, clip, I'll cut to another scene of me actually hooking that up. Um, but basically that got my saxophone sound, amplified it through the preamp, and then I picked up this pedal I'm learning what this is. It is a boss. Basically, well, it's a boss pedal. Basically, uh, an octaver, I think my friend told me. I literally just bought it off of him because he never used it a lot, guitar player. Uh, but this puts the saxophone in octaves, and it's very simple. Basically, it goes from the Fire Studio Mobile um, into here, and then out of here into my bass amp, which let me go ahead and clip over to that. And here is my bass amp. It is a PV Basic 112. You could probably find this in your local pawn shop. Once again, I'll leave a link down in the description. I'm sure it's been upgraded uh, as this is very, very old. You could probably use any amp, to be honest with you. A guitar amp or a keyboard amp would be uh, great. So what I did, I went ahead and hooked all of that up and it produced this sound right here. Once again, I'm working on my editing, so bear with me. It's probably going to be glitchy, but you'll get the point. Here we go. which leads me to believe I should probably try this with a uh, tenor sax. <laughs> So there you have it. That's just a quick uh, video showing what I did to get started with this pedal process. I, I'm planning on buying the pedal. If you go back to Patrick Bartley's video, he's using, a, I probably pronounced it wrong, quintessence uh, pedals, like a harmonizer. I want to get my hands on one of those and kind of perfect this because I have an Iwi 
and I'm probably just being lazy, but good grief, it takes a little bit of getting used to with the rollers if you haven't played one, and I can get kind of the same effects uh, using this pedal, this guitar pedal setup. So once again, it was the Audio-Technica microphone. Uh, you could probably use any brand as long as it's XLR. I personally use this Fire Studio Mobile. This is durable uh, as crap. It is, I've probably dropped it, and it is just taking a licking and keep on ticking. I'm not endorsed by them, but I use it, whatever. And then, once again, I got this uh, Boss Octaver, this pedal. Uh, I got it for really cheap. You can probably find it. Check it out on Amazon. They probably got some really cheap ones there. Or maybe you can buy a use off of Craigslist or something like that just to get you started. And, of course, a bass or a piano, keyboard, amp, any kind of you know amp that kind of gets you started. So there you have it. Uh, please, if you have more experience than this, let me know down in the comments. I'm, I need some suggestions. I do not know what I'm doing. I literally took me forever. I'm unplugging cords and messing with knobs just to kind of get an effect going. So please, if you have any tips, let me know. All right, that's all I got for you for today. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video, comment, subscribe, do all of those things, and I will see you on the next video. Out.